Hey everybody, Matt Derrick here. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show off uh, how I'm living in a 2008 Toyota Prius and just kind of go over the setup that I have and uh, kind of like show off how you can live pretty well in a, a car this size. So uh, not to mention other perks like the gas mileage and things like that, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look on the outside and I'll uh, go over a few things. So like I was saying, this is a 2008 Toyota Prius. I got it from a dealership in Post Falls, Idaho uh, for $4,000. Came about $4,500 after taxes. Um, so uh, as you can see, it has, it's pretty good looking. You know, pretty pretty normal looking car. The whole stealth factor is something I'll go into here shortly. But uh, really, uh, I got a, let's see, I had 170,000 miles on it. Uh, so it's a little more money than I was expecting to pay, but these Priuses have pretty high resale value. So hopefully uh, it'll keep that once, you know, whenever I decide to sell it. So uh, as you can see, I got a little, cargo case here on the back um, well, I'll go over that here in just a moment but um, <clears throat> basically the reason I settled on a Prius instead of a van was really just the gas mileage I mean that's let's be honest here that's that's the biggest perk of this thing right now I'm getting about 55 miles a gallon on average between 45 and 55 depending on the terrain so uh, it makes traveling places really cheap and I hope to be able to travel to many different places in a short amount of time for not a whole lot of money another reason why I kind of settled on the Prius over like a van uh, was that I was really largely inspired by uh, some other YouTubers that were living in their Prius and uh, uh, also the Reddit uh, group uh, Prius dwellers kind of like had a, answered a lot of my questions. So uh, those are two resources I would say check out. I'll leave a bunch of links to probably some of the best uh, Prius videos and other resources you can find out more about living in a car like this uh, down in the, uh, you know, junk in the below of the video. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the cargo box and we'll go see what that looks like. Okay, so here's the uh, cargo box. It's a little dusty because I've been driving on some back roads, but uh, I got that from, as you can see, Tractor Supply Company. It was about 90 bucks. Uh, you know, I got this little rack here uh, to attach it to. Uh, that was another like 80 bucks. Uh, Priuses generally don't come with a hitch, so I got a hitch kit here that attaches to the bottom of the car. It gives me a little hitch mount. And that was about 110. $120 or something like that. So uh, all said and done, it was probably about 300 bucks to get this whole setup. And as you can see there, I just, you know, bolted and drilled some holes through the plastic, the case and just bolted it to the carrot cage there. And it holds real well. I haven't had any problems. It's a uh, very, very waterproof. I've, uh, straight up showered it down in the car wash and not a lick of water gets inside so now this is kind of a little bit of a mess here but some random things uh i got a little bit of food storage here uh that's a gas and propane stove some copies of my book uh you know for people buy that on etsy put a link there if you want to get into that and uh some other stuff like the bandanas and and crap i sell on etsy like our stickers um let's see here we got some other like camping gear stuff and, like hiking shoes uh this this little case right here which i'll show you a closer up later on uh 
it came from Walmart. It's got three little dividers here and uh, lets me kind of organize everything a little bit. So uh, I'll probably go into more detail on this, but I got a couple of like really cool kitchen cooking supplies. Uh, this is a little rice maker, you know, plugs into the car outlet. So I'll go over like cooking in the Prius a little bit in probably another video. Um, but that's kind of it for the moment on that. Um, I keep all my clothes and stuff on the inside where it's a little bit easier to access. So let's go take a look at the back of the Prius and uh, basically my sleeping setup. So as you can see, it's a uh, car just uh, basically looks like a pretty normal car. Let's take a look inside, get that glare out of the way. Um, so normal car, this is what I call car mode. Um, you know, if I have to take my friends uh, places or haul something, or if I just need the car to look a little more normal, like I'm not sleeping in it, this is, you know, what it looks like. So let's uh, open up the hatch here. All right, so um, I got a really badass sleeping bag here uh, from REI. Uh, let's go ahead and just toss that out of the way. Uh, this is my sleeping setup now. Okay, this is a Milliford four inch trifold mattress, and this thing is badass. Uh, makes sleeping in this thing so much more comfortable. Uh, so it was about 80, 90 bucks. Uh, totally worth it and uh, I'll show you how that works here basically I have to move this out of the way all right so pull this down okay so you got a flat surface uh, this little dealie here is our fridge which I will get back into a little bit later but that helps make it a level surface so uh, there's just a little box that it stands on too I got from Home Depot so that goes like that and then we'll go ahead and put the pillows over there for a minute okay so as you can see here the seats folded down and I just come in uh, fold it out like that put in my pillows boom ready to roll as you can see over here from the back now I got about just at six feet of room so I'm 5'11 uh, my toes just they, I kind of have to stretch just an inch or so to, to touch the back of the, of the hatchback there. So it's plenty of room and I sleep really well. And like you can see right over here, you know, this is four inches of memory foam right there. And ah, tuck that in there. And it's, it, it's really nice. It's, it's pretty damn comfy, so. That's, that's the sleeping setup right there. Uh, pretty easy and works really well. Okay, so like I was saying before, I got my clothing storage up here uh, for quick access. Try to get, let's see, we can see that. It's just, it's a little like folding uh, three section divider that I got from Walmart. Um, and it all folds down if I need to, need it to, so it stores away real compact. I kind of tend to roll my clothing so that it fits in tighter spaces like this. And it's just like, you know, basic socks, underwear, shirts, pants, you know. Uh, I got my traveling backpack here for when, whenever I go on excursions away from the car. Uh, and that's, you know, just basically where I have my clothing and whatnot. So it's easy to access and get to. Uh, other things, which I like, I'm about to show you here in the Prius trunk, uh, are 
you know, long-term storage that for things that I don't need to get to quite as often. All right, so the Prius actually has a decent amount of trunk space considering how small of a car it is. Um, down here I have uh, some tools, electronic computer crap, uh, another box of tools, some random odds and ends. This is like your kitchen junk drawer over here. Um, but most importantly, a little further back, if you can see that, you got a 600 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Uh, this is mainly for charging my laptop and using my laptop while I'm in the car. Uh, it's hooked up to the battery. The battery is back here. You can't see it at the moment. I'm not gonna dig for it right now. We'll go into like electronics in a later video. Uh, but, and there's a spare tire underneath here as well. So, uh, a lot of room down there. Quick, you probably noticed like this little weird blue device thing here. Uh, this is actually a solar charge controller. I do have a solar panel installed on the roof, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, we'll go over that in pretty good detail uh, in another video. So, uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. Oh, and before I move on, just real quick, uh, I just wanted to show off, you know, uh, never had any issues, but it never pays, you know, it never pays to be safe. Uh, <laughs> it always pays to be safe. Um, so I got this carbon uh, monoxide alarm, you know, that just kind of sits in here, you know, just in case, you know, I'm running the car at the AC or something and fumes come in. You never know. You can never be too careful. So uh, it's like, I don't know, 15 bucks. So, you know, uh, if you are going to do this, you know, uh, it, uh, it's a, play it safe, you know, get one of these and put a battery in it, toss it aside, forget about it, you know, until it hopefully... You know, somebody saves your life. Okay, so like I was saying before, I have this flexible solar panel sitting on the roof here. And I actually only, I just have it taped on with Gorilla Tape, the clear version, because I thought that looked a little nicer. Um, as you can see, it does, you know, come up, uh, back up from, you know, because it's flexible and wants to kind of, the corners to come up. But, you know, the second layer of tape that I put on here, it hasn't stretched beyond that. I've gone over a thousand, God, probably even 1500 miles so far on the highways, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour. And I haven't had this come up any further than that. So it seems very secure and uh, it doesn't wreck the hood. You know, you're not drilling holes or, or anything like that. So uh, this is an all powers solar panel again i'll put a link in the description to where i got that on amazon uh, it is a 100 watt panel and it plugs in over here i have it running down the side of the hatch here this is a 20 amp fuse that i put in uh for safety you know safety third as they say and uh so the, as you can see, the wire is going down here underneath into the trunk, into the battery, which the battery on these Priuses uh, sit in this, uh, you know, kind of rear bumper area. Uh, so it takes a little bit of digging to get to. But that is the solar panel and it does a pretty good job. I, it tops off my battery. The main reason I got it was for the refrigerator, which we'll look at next. And so that the refrigerator wouldn't, you know, drain the battery, I'd still be able to start the car. So. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Okay, so as I mentioned, the solar panel is powering a, a refrigerator, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, most people have a Dometic uh, refrigerator. That's like the most popular brand, but it is also the most expensive. It is uh, $700 on, on average, and there's no way I could afford something like that. So... Fortunately, I was able to find a slightly cheaper brand called Alpicool. I don't think I have a logo there I can show, but uh, it is a 20 can uh, cooler, meaning it can store about 20 cans of soda. It's kind of how they measure these things. And as you can see there, it is at around five degrees Celsius. 
Uh, I try to keep it around three, but it's kind of hot out right now. So, uh, but you can set that so that, you know, it's, uh, I believe I have it set to eco mode right now. So it just doesn't, you know, uh, drain the battery as fast, but it takes a longer to get up to temperature. But you can set the temperature, all that good stuff. Uh, you can set this in a way so that it automatically turns off the fridge before it drains the battery all the way. So that way you don't wake up to a dead battery. You just wake up to a warm fridge. So as you can see here, we'll look in there. Uh, you know, I got a couple of food items. Uh, you know, it's like 20 cans. It's enough to store like, I, I don't know, I think a few days of food if you're pretty frugal about it, you know. Uh, right now I mostly just have sandwich and snack stuff so mm, cherries so yep uh, you know and I have it opening up like this from this direction so that I can reach it from the driver's seat while I'm driving I can just like grab a quick snack or a soda or something like that so having cold food is fucking huge uh, for traveling it saves so much money uh, you're not eating out all the time so that is definitely an awesome investment uh, I actually got that for, it retails for about $250. It's a huge savings over the Dometic fridge. But uh, I actually got it on Amazon warehouse deals, refurbished by the manufacturer uh, for $150. So that's a fucking steal on that. So if you have a chance, uh, I've been using it for about two months now. It's been running great, almost 24 seven. So, uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description and I highly recommend it. So the next I'm going to show you is actually the kind of space that I hang out in, which is the passenger seat behind the driver's seat. Uh, for this, I got to move the driver's seat up all the way. So I have room to like hang out in there. So let's go take a closer look whenever I need to like hang out or, you know, kill some time I kind of just put all the shades up which I'll show later you know, and, and you know I kind of hang out back here push the seat all the way forward have plenty of leg room to hang out I just kind of come in here uh, sit in the back seat hello Matt and uh, you know one of the cool things I have up here is this little device this call thing and Let's see if I can get to focus there. Um, and so that lets me put my phone or a tablet or something like that. I just put that up and then I can just sit here and watch movies and things like that. So it's pretty convenient. This is totally awesome. It's a Rubbermaid brand rear car seat organizer thing. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description. And it just, you know, it's kind of a mess right now, but I just use it to like, organize a few things uh i got like my reading light uh over there and let's see i usually hang my keys for the night right there you know and just a couple of little odds and ends i put my shoes uh underneath the front seat there i have my this is like my nintendo switch i play video games sometimes and yeah oh and let's not forget bear spray because, you know, you never know. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of like, it's uh, it's kind of hard to tell maybe if I pull you over this way. But um, it is actually a lot of room. I mean, I'm a big guy, you know. And uh, this, I mean, I can stretch out my legs and do what I need to do, put on my shoes, all that good stuff, you know, without too much hassle. So it's really not too bad. Okay, so uh, if you're wondering maybe, you know, uh, how I sleep in the car without people kind of noticing, kind of maintain the stealth factor so I don't get messed with by police or things like that. The thing I do is I actually bought a set of custom cut uh, re reflective shades for uh, each of the windows of the car. So I got these off of PriusChat.com. Uh, they sell them for about 32 bucks a pair. There's uh, three pairs in the set. Uh, a lot of people like cut, you know, measure and cut their own and make them like super insulated and things like that. I'm kind of lazy 
and uh, it seemed like a lot of work, so I just paid the money uh, and, and had them sent to me. So, as you can see, hopefully I don't blind the camera with this, uh, they are reflective and actually do do a really good job of reflecting sunlight and keeping heat out of the car, which is really nice for, uh, you know, letting the refrigerator do uh, less work, you know, and hopefully drain the battery uh, a lot uh, less often. So, but if you look here to my left, actually, I what I've done, this is another one of the, the, the same reflective uh, shield covers, but I've covered this one in um gaffer's tape it's it's a black tape that can be put on and removed it's usually used for cabling and things like that um it, so as you can see here it's a lot more stealthy uh uh basically you know it, it's a lot harder to tell that like uh you know like for example let's see with these up in the car which i'll show you what it looks like uh, when they're all up, uh, it, it is kind of like, well, that's unusual that someone would choose to have heat shields in all of their windows, uh, where, you know, they give it a second thought. Whereas like, if you do cover it up with the black tape, no one even at first glance even sees, they can't even see into your car. They can't see that there's shades period. You know what I mean? So if it's not, you know, too hot out, it is pretty hot here in Walla Walla right now. Uh, so I haven't chosen to do that to all of these yet, but I probably will for when I get someplace where it's not quite so hot. Uh, but as you can see, it's got little suction cups on it and it's got to fit. So all you gotta do is just fit it to the window and it really will just kind of stay there for the most part, uh, even without the suction cups. But, you know, just for extra measure, I kind of press on each of the suction cuffs just to make it stick real good, you know? And so let's see if we can. And so there you go. Uh, the whole, you know, it's the, that's the sheet shades and I can have lights on in there, you know, uh, do whatever I need to do. And basically, you know, no one can see that I'm in there. As you can see, I've got all the shades up. Uh, the front shade is from a different company uh, I don't totally recommend it just because it was really expensive and I kind of got it before I got these other shades. So, um, but as you can see, all the shades are up. It doesn't look that too unusual, I think. Uh, mostly if you're in a pretty like small or medium city, I haven't had any problems in Walla Walla. Uh, no one's knocked on the windows. Nobody's like told me to go away or anything like that, you know, but as you can see, it not only reflects all the sunlight out, but it also covers everything up. So you can't see inside. Uh, even when I'm not in the vehicle, I, when I'm at work, you know, I put all the shades out just so that people can't see, uh, you know, any thieves couldn't be tempted by anything they might see inside. I want to break the window, that type of stuff. So, uh, as you can see, works pretty well, full blackout, you know, and like I said, uh, you know, if you're in a place that's not so hot and stuffy, try that, uh, you know, gaffer's tape on it and uh, people won't even look twice, you know. So, yeah, looks pretty good. So you might be wondering, you know, hey, it's probably really hot and stuffy with those heat shades up and no air going through. And you would be absolutely correct it gets hot and stuffy and totally crappy. Uh, if I don't have the AC on, it really sucks. But if I don't want to run the AC, a really cool invention that I came across, are these things called a window sock. And it's basically just a big sock that you can put over the window of your car. And you gotta watch out for the little sharp end here so you don't tear the fabric, but once you get it on here, you can see that it covers the window and keeps bugs out and lets the air come through. So you just gotta, you, and the cool part is that you can roll the window up and down whenever you want. I mean, you can drive with it on, but I mean, I probably wouldn't recommend it for doing it long periods of time, but uh, it's really awesome. And it's like, it was like 17 bucks on Amazon for like a, a pair 
So I have this on the back two windows next to where I sleep. Uh, keeps the air going through really nice. Uh, it's, I highly recommend getting this if you live in your car. Uh, it's a really good way of keeping cool. Speaking of keeping cool, uh, this is one of the best investments I've made recently. Uh, 20 bucks on, again on Amazon. Uh, it's called Sky Genius, I guess. And it is a battery powered uh, but USB rechargeable uh, fan. So uh, what I do generally is I plug this into the charge controller uh, when I'm at work. And you know, uh, when I come out eight hours later, it's all nice and charged. Uh, on the lowest setting, I can run this for about eight hours straight, uh, which is perfect. Uh, it keeps me cool and, uh, you know, uh, helps. It's a tremendous help in, in sleeping, you know, and just like being cool and having the wind going over your face, your body or whatever. Uh, so this is a huge help. Um, otherwise, I do have to run the AC in the car, um, which is not a huge deal uh, for a uh, reasons I'll uh, get into later when we talk more about electrical stuff. But Sky Genius f uh, fan, car fan. It's got a nice clip. You can put it wherever you need in the car. Pretty awesome. I did mention the AC before. Um, basically, one of the really neat things about the Prius and one of the big advantages is that it runs off of uh, this is the hybrid battery right there, but there's also a 12 volt battery, which I pointed out before in the back of the car. Uh, the AC runs on the 12 volt battery. So technically I can run this all night. And what will happen is as the 12 volt battery gets a little low, the engine will automatically turn on to recharge uh, the 12 volt battery, which is not pictured here on the screen. That's the hybrid battery, but you get the idea. Um, you know, it'll, this like this will get a little low and then, you know, uh, the engine will turn on for about maybe a minute, you know, it'll, it'll charge it back up real quick. And then I'll go like another half hour, 15 minutes, depending on how high I'm running the AC. You know, so the engine isn't running all night long like it does on most cars. So that's a, a big advantage because, I mean, it is just so nice being able to like run the AC all night long while I'm sleeping in here and just be totally comfortable. And it, uh, an entire night of like the engine only coming on every once in a while, uh, I mean, I'd probably spend maybe 50 cents in gas, if that. Uh, so, you know, it, it's pretty darn awesome and one of the big perks of living in a Prius. I think that wraps it up really. Uh, that's kind of like my setup right now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing some extensive traveling down the west coast. I'm uh, going to head down to Slab City while hitting up a bunch of destinations that have been on my bucket list for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to traveling in this car and also you know, making more videos uh, of these destinations that I'm planning on hitting up. So look forward to that. And hopefully uh, you like the video. Uh, if you do, you know, uh, hit the, you know, the, the yay. I like you, Matt. Thumbs up. And then if you don't like it, you can hit the like, boo, fuck you, Matt. Like, you suck, you know. Uh, and then, uh, you know, subscribe and all that bullshit, you know. Uh, like I said, going to have some more videos hopefully some cool, interesting destinations to check out. So uh, go ahead and subscribe and check that out. And I will see you in the next video.